I am sorry, Tess. Gwen, hi. Hey, Jared, it's it's really good to see you. Likewise. Um, I'm looking for Ethan. Have you seen him? So your husband went AWOL and the first place you check is to see if he's here with Teresa. Yeah, I guess uh, old habits die hard. Well, you're in luck. He's not. From what I hear, you uh, don't ever have to worry about them hooking up again. Teresa said Ethan made it very clear that they'd never be a couple. Yeah, that's what he told me, and, and I believe him. I just really hope Teresa takes him at his word this time. And if she does, you know, uh, you two can pick up where he left off. Gwen... Jared, uh, after just a couple days, I guarantee Teresa will be so into you again. I mean, Ethan will be a distant memory. That's probably not going to happen. Why? Because I'm leaving Harmony. Wait, you, you can't. Well, Teresa knew it was going to happen. That's my letter of resignation. So. Wait, Jared. Okay, you can't leave Harmony, and that's just... I mean, that's all there is to it. Why, Gwen? Why does Jared have to stay? Gil's got to be around here somewhere. Excuse me, young lady? Would you like to have your fortune told? The cards never lie. Sorry. Don't really believe in that kind of thing. You used to. Excuse me? The town carnival back in 1999. It was then a fortune teller who predicted you would marry a crane. That prediction came true. And how did you know that? It is the cards. They can see both the past and the future. Maybe later. Don't you want to know how things turn out? What things? Your future. With the man you love. The man you just lost. How did you but know? He loves you still. But he's bound to another woman. His wife. Gwen. Gwen and Ethan. I've been looking for you. Mm-hmm. Don't change the subject, okay? I know exactly why you want Jared to stay in harmony. And frankly, it offends me. What am I, invisible here? I told you a million times. A million times. I'm not leaving you. I'm committed to you and our family, and it doesn't matter what Teresa does. I guess I am. Then Teresa just launched her latest attack against us last night. Yes, and it got her nowhere. And what, you think that's just going to be like her last-ditch effort? Don't kid yourself. Teresa never gives up. Honey, the point is, Teresa trying to manipulate our lives is no different than you trying to manipulate her dealings with Jared. Oh, don't I have any say in this at all? Okay, I think that Jared is good for Teresa, and she cares about him. Guess not. If you want Teresa to stay out of our business, you got to stay out of hers. I'm not in her business. Oh. Ethan, I just want Jared to stay in town so he can give Teresa a second chance. Right. I happen to think they make a nice couple. Yes, yeah, do I have to cluck like a chicken to get someone's attention here? Jared, I'm sorry. We, um, just kind of have tunnel vision when it comes to Teresa. Yeah. Well, it's been hard for you, too, I know. It's been pretty tough on me, too.